Uh, Steve Whitty here. It's Friday and it's almost five o'clock and it's not quite time for Cracker Jack. Um, I'm just going to have a look outside. The weather's cleared up. I've just been caught in a tremendous uh, or torrential uh, thunderstorm uh, as I left work today, so I'm slowly drying out. Um, so I thought while I'm doing that, I'll record a new video for you. And this is another recent haul video, finds video. And this is showing off some more singles that I've, I've managed to acquire. So without really messing about any further, um, it starts. Um, first one, this is uh, Golden Earrings Radar Love, which was a top 10 hit for them in the UK. I think it also may have been a big hit in America as well. Uh, Golden Earrings band from Holland. Um, yeah, excellent song. Next we'll start, what a single, yes it's maybe in a Tamil Motown town asleep, but it's in fact George Harrison's My Sweet Lord, um, which is back to what is life. Um, it was the first Beatles to have a solo number one single in the UK. Um, um, at this point he was probably writing the best songs at when the Beatles split up, um, though Unfortunately for him, he got sued for plagiarism um, with He's So Fine by the Chiffons and ended up losing. So, still a classic single. And I found another George Harrison single. It's Give Me Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth. And this is back by Miss O'Dell. So, yeah, pleased to find some George Harrison. Next up, this is um, record used to belong to B. Morgan. It's some um, Hudson Ford and it's Burn Baby Burn. Now Hudson Ford, um, show you the single. Um, we were members of the Straubs and they'd left at, um, at, at they left, um, probably if the single came out in 73, I think. Um, they left at that round that point. Had a couple of hits, pick up the pieces, and burn baby, burn baby, burn baby, burn was a sort of song about the about the earth and what we we're doing to it. And given the fact it's forty odd years old, it's just sad to actually listen to it. Think we've actually not le learnt anything. Anyway, moving on swiftly, Jackson Five, I want you back, their debut single, and ABC. By the Jackson Five, two classic pop singles. As Elton John's "Goodbye Yellow Brick Road," "Candle in the Wind," Elton John, and backed up by Benny and the Jets. Um, about all track, all, yeah. All three songs I've just shown from the "Goodbye Yellow Brick Road" album. In my last singles video, I showed Kiki D. And she's probably best known for being on the duet of Don't Go Breaking My Heart with Elton John. It was a number one hit. It provided Elton with his first number one in the UK. Um, another classic um, single. This is um, Carol King's It's Too Late. This is on A&M. It's strange because my copy of Tapestry is on, is on CBS, I believe. Yeah, so okay, let's say about him the better. Um, next batch of singles. This is Secret Love by Kathy Kirby. Now Kathy Kirby around pre beatle time was Britain's highest paid um, female entertainer. Um, and Secret Love's the Doris Day song. Um which was done in an up tempo. It's got a really shrill opening, actually. Yeah. But fortunately for Cappy Kirby, life tur turned a bit sour. Uh, as with most things, her popularity w sort of waned a little bit and she fell on hard times, suddenly no longer with us. But uh, um, yeah, she ended up being actually, I think. Like quite a few singles, it's fans that helped um, sort of like fund her, fund her, uh, just a basic living. She retired practically from music from about the 80s. 
Next single, this is one of my favourites from the 70s. This is the Curzel Flyers, Little Does She Know. Um, Curzel Flyers fe featured amongst others Will Birch on drums. Um, if you didn't know, um, Curzel Flyers, this was their only hit single. But the documentary that the BBC made about them, about life on the road, was to be the inspiration for This Is Spinal Tap. So, yeah. Forever etched in musical history. More solo beat or work. This is John Lennon, Stand By Me. And backed by Move Over, Miss L. Or Mrs. L. Or Ms. L. Yeah, it's a bit totally different. This is Lobo, I Want You To Want Me on the UK uh, label. It's one of his um, big hits. Me and You and a Dog Named Boo, I think, was the other one. This one's another one of my favourites. This is McGuinness Flint, When I'm Dead and Gone. Um, this was a number two single from, I think, 1970. It's um, I'll try me. Tom McGuinness and Huey Flint. Tom McGuinness, ex of Manfred Mann. And Huey Flint, I don't know, I can't remember where he was from, actually. <laughs> um, had a couple of hits. This was the biggest. Uh, Molten Barley Blues was the other single they had. Talking to Manfred Mann, this is Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Davey's on the run again. This was the top 20 in 1978, their last hit single. It's a well-known song. This is Woodstock, and this is the version by Matthew Southern Comfort. This probably is the well-known version in the UK, as it was a number one. It was their only hit single. Love the sleeve, love the fact that, yeah. But again, classic number one. And then... We've got Meatloaf, Modern Girl, which was a top 20 single for him, 1984. Okay, final batch of singles. Michael Schenker Group, Dancer, uh, from 1982. This is the line that featured Graham Bonnet. Um, this is in clear vinyl. It's not that many coloured vinyl records, uh, so I'm quite happy to pick that one up. Uh, yeah, I um, mean, yeah, okay. Yeah, I prefer the, the first two albums to be honest. The Mind Benders, Groovy Kind of Love, uh, top 10, I think, UK and America. Featured Eric Stewart on vocal, on, lead, on guitar and vocals, written by Cow Bayer, co written. Then Originally brought from Jay Horton in, on, on the Alum Rock Road in Birmingham. This is uh, Moody Blues, Isn't Life Strange. And then backed by After You Came. It's a really great single on the Threshold label. And then some real cl couple of classics. Mot the Hoople, All the Young Dudes. Uh, it's well known that um, Bowie wrote this song for him, gave him this song in order. It was a t toss up between that and Suffragette City. Um, Bowie did it because Pete over in Watts um, had come up to Bowie and said, yeah, Do you know any ba any singer that needs a bass player? And that's how he found out Mott the Hoople were going to split. And they would be one of his favourite bands. He was a bit, um, a bit mortified. So he'd. Um, he, he, he said, "He said, well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a song." And they set him, set them up, Mame and deal, and they set up deal with a new deal with CBS, and the rest is history. Top ten, and they followed it up with "Roll Away the Stone," just a classic glam pop rock. Yeah, I just love um, Mott the Hoople. Um, another band, and this is a Birmingham band I've mentioned before. This is the move, I Can Hear the Grass Grow. This was, I think, their second or maybe their third single. Uh, it's in my top ten tunes of all time, this is. And then another move single. This is Flowers in the Rain. Um, most famously because it was the first song ever played on Radio 1, which was the national pop station over 50, over 50 years ago. Unfortunately... The original signal came out in a picture sleeve, which sort of um, implied that um, the prime, then Prime Minister Harold Wilson was having an affair with Marcia, his secretary, Marcia Faulkner, I think. And 
it, the images weren't flattering. I think they were both naked. And um, he basically, Harold Wilson took the band to the court and basically won. And Roy Wood has never seen any of the royalties to this day for this song. He's still fighting to get some of it, some of it back, even though Harold Wilson's been gone. Uh, 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 got be near twenty years now. And then another classic single by The Move, Fire Brigade. Um, absolutely brilliant. And then final single in this batch, it's Mud. The Cap Crept In, which is one of their better singles. Um, again, it's a, this is a Chinny Chap production. Um, B-Side Morning was written by the band, so that's how it was in those days. Yeah, Mike, Chini, Mike Chapman and Nicky Chin gave them the hit singles. The band could do what they like on the B-Sides. So, VC, that's the latest haul of singles. Um, you know, have a quiet weekend. Um, the, sh the shop won't be open because uh, Pete's at the Property Festival, so... Uh, probably save me a few bob. Um, so, um, if you've stumbled across the channel for the first time, you like what you see, um, click on the subscribe button. I'm actually all the twos, 222. Thank you, Balding Boomer, um, for subscribing to me. I've subscribed back to you. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Love the interaction. Feel free to comment. I forgot what I was going to say there. Feel free to comment. Um, I, will, I will reply back to you. So they say enjoy the weekend, whatever you've got planned. I'll probably do a couple more videos over the weekend. But So until the next time, um, take care of yourselves, keep spinning, and more importantly, keep smiling.